There's us. There's our faces. Ooh. There's us. There's Hello, everyone. Faces. Welcome to Table Goth. Tonight, we're serving Hades High School, an actual play of Monster Hearts 2 with a heavy flavoring of Hades by Supergiant Games. Hades High School takes place in a universe much like our own. The primary difference is that ancient religious mythology as we know it does not exist. So, for example, a kid named Zeus is just another name and not at all weird, because after all, all of our characters are just normal human teenagers. Speaking of our characters, um, all the characters in this game are inspired by their mythological roots and interpretations in the Hades game. While they share the names and some likenesses of the characters, they're reimagined to fit our universe. This means that familial relations, personality traits, and other details are subject to change. In fact, nearly all the characters come from newly imagined families, so we don't have an entire school of people who are related to each other. We're here to explore new stories and imagine scenarios of our own creation, not follow the same tales already told. So there are some characters that might take familiar paths, others will find completely new routes. Um, all of them will hopefully be dramatic and entertaining, but our goal is to have a good time. We're not necessarily going to be following the fandoms. So, we have discussed our boundaries, our comfort zones at length, and uh, safety tools are in place for our cast. This is a live show, so we cannot predict all content that will be explored, but do expect some physical and emotional confrontation, potential death, and of course, sexually charged scenarios. So please take care of yourselves as we get into the best and worst that high school has to offer. So, let's go around the table and introduce our lovely guests who are joining us. Uh, starting with Vin, just tell us who you are, your pronouns, and your character and their pronouns, please. Well, howdy guys. I'm Vox Hebe, and I'll be playing Hypnos, also Hebe. We have Wes. Hi, I'm Wes Franks from Korean Comfort Studios. My pronouns are he, they. Uh, we'll be playing Thanatos. His pronouns are also he, they. Rachel? Hi, I'm Rachel or Miss Petty Dreadful on there uh, or on Twitter. Um, uh, pronouns she, her. I'll be playing Meg. Pronouns she, her. April? Hi, everyone. I'm April everywhere. April Raygun. I'm playing Dusa. Both of us are she, her. And Amir. Hey everybody, I am Amir, or Prince, or doubles of Dossier on the internet. Uh, I will be playing Lord King Theseus. Uh, pronouns for both of us are he, him. It's going to be fun. I am Bully, he, him, and I will be the MC for this game. Now, please, everyone, have a seat. Mind your manners. The table is set. The ritual begins now. He wanted us to do it. All right. Yep. Okay. Hmm. 
Hades High School was recently created using a new algorithm funded by a bevy of eccentric billionaires. Philanthropist, philosopher, and respected educational leader, Dr. Hades was selected as headmaster after running the renowned House of Excellence in Learning and Leadership. So this AI is designed to pick out students with potential for greatness, and so far has been incredibly successful. Rather than only the privileged and powerful getting all the best opportunities, many relatively unknown students have been selected and have achieved great things through this experimental school. The inner workings of this boarding school largely remain shrouded in mystery, though. All that is known is that it's located on a private island in the Pacific Northwest United States. The institution's methods are unknown, but the results speak for themselves. For the first time in the school's short history, a group of students have been selected who are seniors instead of freshmen. We follow these students as they prepare to get thrown into the enigmatic Hades High School and discover what the fates have in store for them. Our story begins on a boat. You all are arriving much later than planned, thanks to the storm. Uh, you've been waiting most of the day. The ferry departed when it seemed the worst had passed, but once you were about halfway to the island and there was really no point in turning back, those angry winds and ominous clouds found you again. We've discussed some of what's happened on the ride over in our session zero, as some of you have gotten to know each other a bit already. And after all, there aren't too many who are entering Hades High School for their senior year only, and who will be joining the hallowed ranks of the other specially selected students. Even this year's freshman class actually made it to the island before you. Your rain-soaked group is the last to arrive. The ferryman, a tall man who kept to himself most of the ride, covered from head to toe in a poncho and wide-brimmed hat to protect himself from the rain, has pulled your luggage off the boat as you all just sort of stand in the collective rain, and then you follow him into the darkness. Um, you trudge through this downpour, and occasionally lightning sort of illuminates the outline of this, this mountain that dominates the small island and seems to be scraping against the rolling clouds. Nestled in the base of this looming spire is Hades High School. As you march on, luggage in tow, clothes heavy with rain, you can almost see the darkness melt in front of you and reveals the impressive building. The castle-like structure shows little signs of life, though. Maybe a power outage of some sort, but you don't see any light source. The boatman pushes open a large set of double doors with ease, but he doesn't enter. Instead, he beckons for the rest of you to as he's points inside. As your group's ushered forward into this cavernous great hall and a respite from the rain finally. The man with the wide-brimmed hat, he mutters something, but it's inaudible, probably because of the storm, and then he closes the door behind you, and you're plunged into darkness once again. The storm sounds like soft rain outside the thick walls, though you can hear a trickle of water coming from inside. Uh, the hall seems empty and without power as your eyes strain to adjust to your new surroundings. What do you do? Uh, did, 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 were we supposed to tip him? I, I, I don't... Should, should, should we have paid the ferry? I, I don't remember it being in the in, in the list of things that we were... I, I think sure, my parents have paid him plenty. Um, uh, I, oh. You have phones? Yeah, you do have phones. Yeah, I just put my phone light on and start seeing what this I can This better take. be a surprise party. <laughs> they, they knew we were coming, right? Of course they knew we were coming. At least they knew I was coming. So, mm. as Meg gets out her phone and the light flashes, though you do notice looking at your phone, you don't have any service. Um, you can see right next to this entrance is uh, there's a massive fireplace to one side. Uh, you can see a deep pool with a statue of the school's mascot, the Hydra, with trickling water, probably where that sound was coming from. Um, 
But otherwise, that's what you see in your immediate vicinity. You can tell just the way the light isn't fully illuminating this hall that it goes up quite high. And like I said, it's almost like an inside of a cave at this point. But that's that's sort of your immediate surroundings. Stone floor and walls. You can see some interesting tapestries decorating it. Hypnos. Don't wander off or anything. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. I just oh. know how you like the dark. Where is the greeting party? Um, is there, there's no fire in the fireplace, correct? There was not. Uh, if anyone has any matches, I can, I can make a fire. At least then we can see and it would be, it would be more comfortable in here. Oh, I, I actually might have some. And she like, just kind of goes through her bag and. Thanatos is going to pull out a lighter. I was going to look at Thanatos. <laughs> oh, oh, perfect. Um, let me just, just give me a moment and I'll, I'll make it much, much nicer in here. I promise. Just, just get one, one moment, please. Okay, and I'll fine. take the lighter and make a fire. Okay. Um, you step towards the large fireplace. Looking at, there, there's logs and whatnot in here. Um, but before you're able to light anything, you hear a voice behind you that simply says, Darkness. And with that, the fireplace erupts in the fire. As it seems, it's not a real fireplace, it's like a, an automatic powered one. And luckily, it turned on right before you got too close to, to burn your hairs off. Oh my! And you turn around and you can see the, the voice coming from um, Headmaster Hades. He says, Darkness. It's, it gets very dark in here, but I'm glad you made it. Does your travel well? I am a Headmaster Hades, at your service. It was a very wet trip. If we can find a way to our rooms, might be able to change. Tallo. The man before you is quite imposing. He's tall, tan skin, dark hair, very long mustache and beard. He has very deep, serious eyes that seems to always just be looking down at you, even though he's not much taller than some of you. Um, he's wearing a black suit with a red fur shawl. Um, and you could tell, despite his sort of professional appearance, the sort of the, these odd accessories and whatnot, fine jewelry on his fingers. So, yes. We should uh, get you settled in, shouldn't we? Uh... I have the contractor working on the backup generator, but it seems that they're taking their time. So we will go old school for now. And um, he also, uh, he pulls out, he has like a, one of those like electric lantern things at his side. That he, he turns on, weird that he didn't turn it on to approach, but now he turns it on. He leads you, of course you'll get the full toy. Tomorrow. But for now, this is what we call the Great Hall. Um, to your right, and as he's walking and leading you, he gestures to a, a set of doors on the right. Uh, that is our lounge, typically open at all hours. There's also a shop in there. Uh, this also leads to the West Wing. I'm sorry, and he points in the other direction. The West Wing is where you will find the administrative chambers, the teacher offices, the trophy room. The school has not been open for long, but our accomplishments are already on display. Yeah, the I'm East Wing. Take that over before it's all over here. Just saying. I hope you do. Sincerely. The East Wing has your classrooms, leads out to the garden, and your dorm tower, where we will be heading. At the end of this hallway, the Great Hall is my office, should you ever need anything. Now, you will be staying um, in the basement of the tower. We have some of the top student ambassadors should be preparing your rooms. I'll hand you off to them for now, and I will make sure you're settled in the morning. He goes past the lounge through the east wing 
until you get to another set of doors <clears throat> where he opens up. And you can hear some voices coming from below the stairs. Uh, there is an elevator there as well, sort of an old school looking lift where like those like almost accordion looking doors open and shut. Obviously with the power outage, you will have to be taking the stairs, but good thing you're at the bottom, isn't it? And then he just leans down the stairs and said, they have arrived. And you hear some of the murmuring quiet down a little bit. They should be ready for you. They? The student ambassadors. Please go get to know your fellow students. I hope they make you feel welcome. Th th thank you. You're welcome. And he turns and starts heading back to where he came, leaving you to go down into the basement level of, you can see the rounded walls. This is likely a tower section. We assume your room is in the basement. He definitely used to ball. Linebacker, it looks like. Tell that on anybody that you meet. Listen, just because I can see some things that you can't, doesn't mean you need to be jealous of me. You should be jealous of me for a lot of other things. You know, some of us got into the school without, like, daddy's help, so maybe keep it in check. Uh, and I head down the stairs. As soon as Meg walks away, Deuce is going to follow her. <laughs> Than's just going to shake his head and go, come on, Hypnos. He's right behind him. Theseus goes. Smiles a little bit at the, the perceived insult. <laughs> Actually, speaking of insults, I feel like this might be our first role. I feel like Meg might be trying to shut down Theseus here. Would you agree, <laughs> Meg? I absolutely agree. Let's do it. Let's get a let's get a shut someone down roll. Okay. That is cold. Yes. Correct. Okay. Partial success. Okay. Um, so, on a partial success, um, choose one from below, but you come across poorly, or they can give you a condition in return. Would you like them to lose a string on you? Uh, if they have no strings, you can get one on them, you can give them a condition, or you can take one forward. I'll go ahead and give uh, Theseus a condition. Our first condition. <clears throat> what condition are we thinking? Uh, spoiled. Okay, right off the bat, shots fired. So yeah, but that last little bit before Meg walked away, um, clearly not seeing your actual worth and worst of all, making everyone here think that you're here for other reasons besides your own merit, which you know is not true, but it stings just the same. And you can tell the way everyone sort of looks at you before heading down they have opinions that will need to be changed about you in time, but that happens. And then we head downstairs. Um, heading down, it's a, spi it's a tight spiral staircase. Um, you don't have to go down very far. As you're at the ground level, and it seems you only go down one more level um, to another door that's already opened. And you can see there's like a Large circular uh, common room, uh, very comfortable lounge type thing. There's also a fireplace along one wall here, plenty of couches and chairs and tables and things like that. Um, you can tell it's a little, it's a, it's a little mismatched. This is probably where maybe this was storage or maybe they just had to take extras from other places and, so, and sort of throw them here. There's not one coherent theme or color scheme pulling it all together like you would imagine in a place of this caliber. Um, and you can see a group of students that are sort of, they're, they're actively setting it up now and you sort of walk in on this. Um, but they all turn 
and immediately it's 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 the new kid thing. All eyes are just on each of you, and you can feel um, this collection of students just looking at each of you one on one, one by one, making their initial judgments. Um, before uh, one of them steps up, a sort of olive-skinned, um, dark. He's a senior, but even for a senior, or it, it, he's he's a bit young, but he seems puberty hit him well. Where he already has a bit of a beard going, despite being a, a high schooler. Um, it's immaculate for someone his age. Um, his long hair that's clearly dyed white, and it seems pushed back and down his back a little bit. Very pale, bright eyes and thick eyebrows. Um, he's despite it being pretty late. Um, none of these students, well, most of these students at a glance are not dressed as if they're here to like move furniture or get ready for bed. They're, they, they knew they'd be meeting people for the first time and they seem cognizant of that. Uh, he's wearing, um, it's one of those things where you can tell if you, if you know, you know, type of thing, you could tell his stuff's expensive, but ca casually. So if you did, you, you'd have to actually be able to recognize some of the cuts and brands. Um, but it's very well fitted show up. He's an imp impressive physique. And uh, yeah, he just sort of steps forward. He says, uh, "Welcome. I'm uh, the name Zeus. Uh, this," and he points to a dark-skinned individual. This beautiful, long, curly black hair, sort of a bearish body type, let's say. Uh, sort of droopy eyes and a big smile. He's wearing this open top that's sort of flowy, exposing a bit of his torso. A lot of jungle print. Ah, uh, this is my pal, Dionysus. And then we have Artemis, Aphrodite, Hermes, Poseidon, Athena, Ares. Yes, you, you seem like you want to say something or points to you, Dusa? Oh, oh no, no, I was just, I was just, y y you repeat people's names so you, you remember them. I, I, I was just. I was trying to remember them. You know what also helps me with names? Uh, hearing them for the first time, if you don't mind. Isias. Yes. Uh, it's wonderful to meet you. I, I'm, I'm Dusa. That's Than, that's Hypnos. Thanatos. Sorry, I don't know if I can call you Than. Okay. They're not usually this quiet. I understand. It's been New a long day. Jitters and whatnot. Need it has. Um, and this is this is a big deal for for you lot. This is it's supposed to be very exciting for you, seniors at Hades High School. Um, how are you feeling so far? Feeling like a champ, damp champion. But a champion nonetheless. A dampion, if you will. I like that. I see you're the funny one of the group. Okay, okay. Every group needs one. Funny one, you seem... Eclectic, Dusa. Um, you have a goth. Wait, th thank you. Uh, goth's brother. And... What's your deal? Points to you, Meg. Find out, I guess. The bitchy one. Okay. Good. Well, I, I mean, I, I, everyone's usually much nicer. They were, they were much. Every, everyone was much more polite earlier in the day. It's just, it's been raining, and we've been on a boat for a very long time, and we, we were also terrible. Don't make for them, do so. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Y you're right. I appreciate Dusa, but it's fine, really. I'm just. Keeping my mouth shut so I can size up people. Um, sure, just let them know you're playing. Very nice. One of them steps up and says, it rains a lot here, so if that's going to be a problem, uh, it might be one you want to get over quick. Uh, you, you'll learn to love it. Uh, it's the one that was introduced as Poseidon. Uh, so a, a Polynesian uh, mix, strong jaw. He's got this big boastful smile. Um, Deep, deep blue eyes. His wide shoulder, toned arms. Uh, very much like a swimmer's body. 
Um, he is wearing, I guess you could call this shirt, one of those things, you know, where you like, you got to cut out the sides and it's just sort of like a, a hanging there. Uh, he's got on one of those. Um, but despite hardly wearing a shirt, he's got plenty of like accessories, like chains and bracelets and whatnot. Um, another thing where probably expensive his clothes aren't, but his his trinkets are. Is the uh, the power always out? Thanos is going to talk to him instead of Zeus or whatever. Is the power always out around here? Actually, no. I think this is the first time it's happened since we've been here. That's a relief. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the facilities are bar none. You'll see. Um, a bit ominous, but uh, it makes your first day memorable, right? If this is what you call memorable, then yes, I guess so. It's a pleasure to meet you, nonetheless. I was expecting a bit more fanfare, but... Why is yes. that? Um, one of the the women steps forward. So, um, seems to be of South Asian descent. Um, sort of sultry eyes, a wry smile, very plump lips, um, very very long hair, um, like straight out of a shampoo commercial. Um, she does seem like she was dressed like she was getting ready to go to bed. Was sort of a, a silk pajama type get up. Um, uh, she was the one that was introduced as Aphrodite. Does that mean you're you're a big deal? You know, out there, I don't recognize you, or do I? I mean, perhaps if you've ever actually if you looked up the most special athletes on the planet, then maybe you would have come across me. But maybe you are just too busy doing whatever it is you do. We need more athletes around here, actually. I was just telling them. And she sort of walks up and sort of adjusts your letterman's jacket a little bit. I think you look good in the school colors. Uh, and she could tell that she, even though she's very much focused on you, this seems to be almost a, a performance for a, another person standing in the room. See, one of the guys just sort of bristles at this. Um, it's black. He has this mohawk that's dyed white. Dude's built like a tank. A uh, sharp jawline, nose ring, and he's just, it's one of those things where he's one of those guys that, like, he's got to be the alpha in the room, and now you've walked in, so it's 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 immediate posturing, it's immediate met, trying to out outdo each other's energy type of thing, and th this this last little thing seems to be really getting under his skin. Um, but he's a very punk rock aesthetic, which doesn't really fit, like, the jock alpha, but it's, yeah, he's all black, red, white, um, ripped off sleeves on his shirt. Uh, he's wearing a band shirt uh, called uh, War God's Bloodlust, some like death metal thing. Um, necklace with like a bird skull studded belt. And yeah, he's he's been doing the, the crossed arms flex for a minute. He's, he's it, it, impressive because you you know when someone's flexing. He's been flexing this entire time. He's still holding, he's still holding it up though, which is kind of impressive, but you don't know how much longer he has. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm a current captain of the team. So, yeah, for the next like few days until I get my place on the team, then you'll be yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. He's confident. That's good. It's real fucking good. You uh, you mind show me show me what you got? Then you got a ball on you, yeah. Ah, uh, and this is just. Tosses the, the ball up in a hand and catches it behind his back. Of course I do. Right here. Let's see what you got. Oh, well, well, I, I don't know. Maybe you're not a QB type. What's what's your position? I launch a bullet straight at his face. <laughs> Give me a volatile. Meg does like a side look at Thanatos. Like, this is going to be good. Whatever happens next. <laughs> See volatile. Motherfucker. 
no. Oh, no. <laughs> It's a six, ladies and gentlemen. So close. It's a tight spiral. It's it's a it's a good throw, um, but he he catches it one handed. He just reaches out, one hands a thing. Uh, good technique. Might want to work on the strength behind it, but uh, yeah, you might not be a bad backup. And he seems a lot more at ease with himself now after this, and uh, he just sort of. Tosses it back to you, not even trying to really do anything. Just gives you a casual toss. Dantos just kind of leans over to Theseus and just says, "Uh, you tried." The ball Good job, though. It's, it, I'm still damp. Is is that is that how how the game works? Yeah. Everyone did such a good job then. But um, do, do we have a place to stay, a, a bed, a, a, so we can put our stuff down somewhere? Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And maybe maybe uh, change. Zeus, it, it, the rate is fine. But... Again. Yeah, yeah, no, get comfortable. Uh, we'll, we'll keep setting up out here. If you guys want to get your stuff down, get changed, head back out. Um, we'll sort of explain the ropes to you. Um, we, we do, it's, it's sort of a sweet situation. You, you don't share a room per se, but you share a suite with another person. So... Um, you guys will want to partner up. Uh, one of you will be solo, obviously. Um, I'll let you figure that out. But uh, yeah, it just sort of gestures around. The rooms you see are open and ready for you. Does anyone want to partner up with the room with me? I mean, we, we could share. I, I, I'll, I'll be very clean and quiet. I'm usually very quiet. I'm, I'm just... I, I, I don't know if you want to share or who, who sure. would get the... Okay. Uh, it, it, did Meg say sure? Yeah. Yeah, it was just, yeah. Zeus just looks and said that. And there, there's you, an open one too. You don't... Uh, you, you get to pick whoever. Theseus just walks into a room that's empty. <laughs> No discussion, just walks into one. Yeah, he's bunking with his ego, so he needs the space. I immediately go into a room and just start making it the nicest room on campus. I'm guessing we're bunking together, Hypnos. Exactly. Sounds about right. That's fine. At least it's like just a suite. It's not a shared space. Um, Stantos and Hypnos head in the room. Uh, you've barely put your first thing down where, um, uh, one of the, the students walks in, the shorter one of the group, um, sort of a Southeast Asian descent, messy, dark hair, really lively eyes, um, sort of slim athletic, but he's, he's got legs on him, like a soccer player build. Um, he's got a, a color coordinated track suit that got some nice sneakers on. Um, sort of a messy boy band look. Um, but you barely get your first bag down when he seems to have brought in one of your other bags and sets it down too. Hey, I just thought maybe you needed an extra hand. Um, I don't know. There's not that much to, to do around here. And uh, I don't know. We get, get in your room set up's one of my favorite parts. Really exciting. Um, did you bring decorations or anything? You could buy decorations in the lounge. They have a shop there that's really cool, actually. Um, broker there's kind of weird. But yeah, um, are you taking this? Or you guys? Why did you guys pick each other? You guys barely talked in there, and you decided to be roommates. That's interesting. You seem very proactive. Yes. Uh, Hermes. I mean, they already said I was Hermes, but I, I can yeah. say it myself. Zeus just sort of likes getting in there, you know, and speaking for the rest of us. He doesn't always speak for the rest of us, though. You should know. Um, he, he seems the type. Um, yeah, no. Uh, Thanatos. And this is my brother, Hypnos. Brothers? Hi. Okay, I like that. And you guys get along well enough to have, uh, to want to share a room here. I mean, we shared a space when we lived together back home. Might as well carry on the tradition. And I mean, Thanatos is going to kind of stare at Hermes and go, I, team, I tend to have certain side projects that freak out others. Weird. And he's already, he's 
holding up like Hypnos's blanket thing. He halfway through your conversation, you paused too long for him, and he moved on to the next thing. He sort of I could tell this is really soft, even though it is soaked. What's the thread count on this thing? It's too long to count. Um, are you gonna stay here and keep doing this thing, or do we have to like tell you, you to say leave? too long to count? You count your I, I, threads by the length of them and not the number of them? That's very interesting. Yeah, I should check if the others need help though. Yeah. And uh Hermes is out. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. And you can, as soon as he hits, you can hear him. Hey, what you should hear how these guys count their threads. And he starts explaining that to the rest of the group. Yeah. Didn't get it. Uh, let's get an edge in otherwise, huh? No words. No, I'm not worried about it. I really want to, you know, just call it cold, wet, ridiculous. I understand. I'll give you your space for you to count your threads. And I'll give you time to brood. Appreciate it, Hypnos. Of course. Over in uh, Dusa and Meg's room. Dusa, you're already doing your thing, getting cleaning, getting the space ready. Um, yeah. Then Meg, you sort of walk in. Still dripping a little bit, but um, yeah, Dusa seems more intent on good to get everything clean before you settle in, I guess. Yeah, I'll probably just start doing like heavy lifting, like moving the bigger stuff around. It seems like she is content to be doing something by herself without talking. So Meg is also really content to just do that. So, well, so uh, GM MC, I have a move that involves making things clean and welcoming. You do. Uh, do you want to read your your move for us? As, uh, I have a move called Sparkle and Shine. When I take the time to make an area welcoming and clean, I while in this area, I gain plus one on all rolls. That is true. So, uh, well, we'll get into it. I probably should say it at the beginning. We're doing uh, custom skins here. Each of their characters is their own skin. Uh, Dusa is a skin. Thantos is a skin. So if you're looking for, like, ghost moves or vampire moves to pop in, um, I've reflavored some of them, but... I, we've created a lot of new stuff for these lovely characters. Uh, so you're going to be seeing stuff like that, being like, what is that? And they'll tell you what it is, like April just did for us. Uh, so, yeah, I'll say we're you, you're on the way to making this your official little, like, clean area of, of comfort for you to where you, you are at your best in, the, in this this place you have control over and this place that is up to your standards, um, sort of your, your, your personal responsibility which uh, could be stressful to some, but Dusa takes pride in that. Um, uh, another one walks in, um, easily picks up one of the one of the heavier bags to help you out, Meg. Um, she's black, glasses, high cheekbones, very serious expression. Um, her hair sits high, curly on her head, um, athletic build. Uh, she's wearing yellow overalls, the blue tube top underneath it. Uh, sort of showing off rather muscular arms and shoulders while also giving off sort of nerdy vibes. Um, a lot going on here, but she's rocking all of it. Uh, she was the one introduced as Athena. Thanks for the help. Uh, yes. Thought I might uh, get a chance to speak with you all without the posturing going on with the rest of them. <clears throat> no offense. How well do you know the others in your group? We met on the boat. Interesting. Do you have any idea why you're here? Why you were selected? Have you accomplished something or uh, did the algorithm see something in you? Um, algorithm. And you? Oh, alg algorithm. Those are my favorite students, actually. Um, I, I really take pride in helping people learn about what it is they're best at. Um, I feel free. You can speak to me without the others anytime you'd like a little bit of guidance on just how things work around here. Um, obviously, I've put in my time. I've done a lot. The school really is a good place. Um, once you know how to navigate some of the the other chosen, let's say. Is there like a lot of posturing to navigate? 
I think you know the answer to that. Cool. And I very like <laughs> heavily shove whatever I was holding down, like into the closet or whatever. If I can get used to it, anyone can. Best of luck. And uh, yeah, she'll go back out. Theseus, you have stormed into your room. No one's followed you in. Seems you've gotten the the room to yourself. Theseus puts on his headphones, uh, goes to his Spotify playlist, picks a song, uh, and it's uh, R.E.M., Everybody Hurts. <laughs> and he's just putting his room together, putting his bed, like, just in the zone. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, you're in the zone. You're in, The zone being the deepest pits of your feelings. Uh, that's the zone right now. <laughs> yep. You're there. You're starting to put some of your stuff away. Um, it's one of those things to where it's, 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 when you're a kid, I, I say we're a kid, I still do. When you like look out the window when like things are raining and that's that ambiance where you're like, you're picturing yourself in a sad music video. That's fully what you got going. Yeah, on. it's absolutely what's happening. You could hear a little bit of the rain just hitting the stone wall. A single the tear is going down mm-hmm. the, the cheek. Just one. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you're 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 right into the bridge, uh, you do hear a <clears throat> that manages to cut through the music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you turn around, and you see a uh, very tall, athletic, fair-skinned Scandinavian-looking woman. Um, very serious, sharp features, long braided, um, blonde hair. Um, Though the end of it is dyed a sort of cool forest green, um, sort of matching her eyes. Uh, she's wearing simple sort of like, like linen, sort of like a boho style with simple nature patterns. Um, though with a short dress that's showing off her strong legs. Um, I'm sorry. I, uh, people tell me I move very quietly. Not me to uh, sneak up on you. No, I just have my headphones up. It's fine. Who are you? Yes, I heard that. I also have very good hearing. Artemis. Uh, um, Theseus. Well met. Yeah. Um, how, how can I help you? Is it true what you claim, that you're a proficient athlete? And then he kind of gets his confidence up. Absolutely. Best there is. Your display out there was less than impressive, but I can see the natural talent you have. It's been a long day. Still a little damp, but um, get me on the field. You'll see. I look forward to it. I especially look forward to you perhaps... Humbling some of my friends. Oh, really? Competition, the challenge, you know, the thrill of the hunt, you know, chasing a goal, I think is what a lot of these students are missing. Yeah, they come I here, they're told they're great. Too. And, uh, yeah, they get soft. But you're not soft, are you? Oh, absolutely not. Definitely not. Not at all. Make sure his phone is all the way down muted just in <laughs> case it's paused but he's like holding the button down to make sure it's muted good i think some of them out there i think we could use a a hard specimen like yourself to really show them what's what uh, and that other guy is not doing that already he's doing a lot at least he thinks he is that's kind of the vibe i got from him too Good. I was hoping I saw a little bit more than that in you. Don't disappoint me. D- don't disappoint me. It's a promise. And she'll turn on her heel, sort of give one, one last look around. You can continue listening to R.E.M. now. And she'll 
walk out of the room. I don't. He just goes back to cleaning, <laughs> takes the headphones off, just, damn it, <laughs> cussing to himself. Okay. Uh, with this, a little bit of time will pass as you're able to get some dry clothes, uh, get some of your things unpacked. Um, going back around, uh, let's get a quick description of what, so you, you, you pretty much have a blank canvas for your room. It's pretty spacious. It's It's... Uh, sort of a bathroom between two bedrooms. Um, the two bedrooms connect through the bathroom. Um, but you you have you, you don't have any windows, unfortunately. You are in the basement. There's plenty of wall space to hang things up or do anything. There's a desk. There's a, a bed. Um, some of the basics. Um, I want to know how you guys would sort of put your touch on your rooms. Cause that's, that's always a big deal. It's usually a, a thing you say for college, but you guys get to do it now this boarding school. And I'm sure none of you really come from that background. Um, let's start with Than. What's what's Than's room look like? Uh, immediately, he grabs blackout curtains from one of his bag and hangs them up in the windows. Uh, there are no ahead. windows. There are no windows? In the basement, better. yeah. So he's, go, so he's <laughs> gonna go ahead. He's gonna go ahead. That's even better. He's gonna take those blackout curtains. He's gonna hang those up over the doorway to his room. Uh, so you kind of have to push them aside to walk in. Of course. Um, he is then going to set up various posters of different music groups, uh, things of that nature, things like Bauhaus, Joy Division, The Cure. Um, I can just go down the line of the playlist <laughs> I made for this guy. Deftones, yes. all of them. Viol like like just, just all of them, just sets that up. Um, he moves the desk and like moves like if there's a desk and chairs inside he moves it over to like the corner um where he sets up in front of like on the wall in front of the desk to where he looks at it directly there is a mirror that is cracked um that that he has set up right there um sets up all of his like he pulls out composition notebooks spiral notebooks things of that nature pens pencils all that stuff sets up his laptop uh, sets up speakers beside that, um, and then he moves his bed over to, like, the farthest corner away from the door as well, uh, and he hangs up curtains around that as well. He pulls out, like, blackout <laughs> curtains to hang up around the, the bed and everything like that. The final touch, the piece de resistance, is he starts setting up candles all over the place as well. Yes. Yeah, and they're, they're just, just on the desk, over just in the closet, on the floor, all over the place. It's, it's a fire hazard, really. Um, yes. And then sets up a little picture of him holding a uh, Sphinx cat um, that uh, just kind of set up there on the desk as well. Excellent. Shifting from this dark potential death trap, um, we're going to go to his brother, Hypnos's room. Uh, Hypnos, what? What would Hypnos's room look like if they took the time to do anything? Exactly. Like, he has his mattress topper, pillows, blankets, plushes. That's it. <laughs> He'll leave Evanescence to his music video. <laughs> just the essentials. So you Im immediately <laughs> just set up this, this nest, this sleeping nest, essentially, with all of these exactly. wonderful soft things, and then your rest is just bare. It's like a Moroccan yeah. bazaar, but just on the bed. I love it. <laughs> just what's important, sleep. Yeah. yeah, and it's been a long day, so you have time to probably lay in it, rest a little bit, as everyone else is still setting up all of their stuff, because theirs was yeah. quick to the point. Excellent, excellent. Smart. Smart. Speaking of smart... Speaking of super relaxed, Dusa, what's this space? What's your sanctuary look like? Dusa's room is going to be pretty traditional of what the room already is. She doesn't have a lot of stuff, but she does have like the the the, the, the random like vanilla scented candles that everyone seemed to have back then, <laughs> and like puts a picture of like her and her sisters. Uh, she has two, of course, because the organs. Shh. Um, and it's, she likes that it's darker because she kind of doesn't have a lot back home. So it's 
very sparse and nice like purple blanket she puts on there and she pulls out like some stuff from home and it, it's it's not a lot it's very very minimal i like it just just enough to still have a homey feel i feel like yeah. the deuce is good at doing a lot with a little I'm able to yeah it's, it's kind of like an, 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 comfortable like um what, what's a good word like a bed and breakfast kind of room like it's yes. not super <laughs> fancy it just it's homey enough Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but she also like started cleaning the bathroom and like put up a nice shower curtain and put like a little a, a toilet paper cozy on the toilet paper just to, so so the room that she shares with meg is all nice and pretty and like she has like the little air fresheners and yes yes perfect um speaking of meg speaking of people who love their sisters what's meg's room look like um like the inverse of Dusa, where Dusa has like not a lot of stuff that was brought, but it makes the place look nice. Meg isn't coming from somewhere where she had a lot of stuff to bring. So it's like drugstore makeup is sort of spread out across the dresser on top. There's no like rhyme or reason. She doesn't have an organizer or anything. Um, she hasn't folded her clothes. She's just like put them into the drawers in kind of a helter skelter way just to get it done um like old like hanging up some like old like beat up leather jackets that have definitely seen better days um and then tucked into the top drawer is like this really old picture of her and her two sisters from like way back when they were kids before beat maybe, up leather. maybe in better times when they got along a little better yeah and I, I would imagine um, May getting selected by this algorithm, having the potential to go to Hades High School and her sisters not being selected probably didn't help the relationship there at the end. No, not at all. So it's kind of, she looks at it for a second and then kind of just shoves it in the drawer, considers throwing it away, but maybe knows herself a little bit better than that. Speaking of healthy relationships, Theseus. What's your so, domain look like? Yeah, Theseus, uh, the first thing he packed was a bunch of his trophies and medals. So there is a giant like shrine of trophies and medals that Theseus has. And since this is just his space now, all of that sort of extends out <laughs> to the, the entire suite <laughs> to celebrate me, basically. Uh, but he also brought his golf clubs, his tennis rackets, uh, his, his stuff for playing badminton. Uh, he has hockey sticks, baseball bat. He is ready for basically any sport that goes down. He has multiple pairs of cleats and different shoes uh, in his room. Um, and then there's a bunch of posters of athletes uh, all around the room. So you have your, your Bo Jacksons, your uh, Peyton Mannings, like people who are at the absolute top of their sport, Venus Williams, Candace Parker. Like it's, his room is just a shrine to athletes who are fantastic at their sports. And uh, then there's a couple of pictures of his family members. And then there's one uh, picture of his mom and a picture of his dad that look like it used to be one picture, but now it's two pictures. And they kind of just stare at each other. They're not like facing outwards, just stares at each other. Oh, okay. Okay. We will, uh, I'm excited to unpack that later. Okay. Eventually, our students are settled in their rooms. And you can hear that the, the others are still sort of getting the common room ready for you. And uh, we'll say, for convenience sake, you all sort of end up filtering out around the same time. Unless there's any conversation those of you rooming with each other would like to have before uh, braving the other students again. No, we're jumping right in. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, you head out. Uh, you can, and you notice before you head out, it kind of got quiet out there. Like maybe they're finished or maybe something like the voices got a little quieter. It's like they're up to something or talking about something that they weren't, weren't using normal room, room level, uh, volume. So you head out maybe a little suspiciously and, uh, you see the group gathered and, um, all eyes just sort of go towards a Dionysus. 
who has this really crazy looking bottle, some sort of orange liquid in his hand. He goes, hey, you guys are cool, right? Uh, yes, we're, we're very, it was a rhetorical cool. question. Look at you. Of course, uh, you're cool. Every last one of you. Anyway, I want to get to know all of you, and I'm sure you want to get to know us, right? And we could do it having a good time, not with all this. Uh, he kind of looks towards Aries' aggression. Let's relax. It's been a long day. You're all fresh. Let's have a drink and uh, maybe play a little bit of an icebreaker. This stuff, uh, you can see the label, it says Ambrosia. This is the real deal. I don't know, well, you'll learn more about the school and the island, but uh, this used to be an old bootlegger island back in the day. There's this weird fruit that grows, and they make some wild stuff on it. And, although we're not really supposed to explore the island, uh, some of us have found sort of stashes, and I want to share my stash with you. If you'll have me, of course. No conditions on this. No. We're just gonna have some drinks, get rid of some of that tension, and get to know each other. He just looks around the room, sees if Aries is sitting down. If Aries is not sitting down, he's gonna sit down first. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Aries is pissed about that. He was also trying to figure out what to do. If he should just stand defiantly or be cool and relax about it. And he made the choice to stand and look intimidating. The fact you you went for the relax first pisses him off. And he, he like, throws himself on a chair. He's so fucking relaxed right just now. Just wink at him. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's, this is very noticeable, everyone else. Dionysus goes, yeah, that's literally the opposite vibes what I'm trying to go for here. But, uh. I'm ooh. not going to turn to a free drink and make all go and yeah he'll, uh we got cups we got stuff like that let's get it going and uh yeah he'll, he'll start pouring some drinks and everyone just sort of they, they've sort of circled or circle up the furniture and whatnot got the fire going to sort of uh settle in around it usually there's i don't know there, there, I, there's rivalries that can form you know between two different groups uh, our rooms are at the tippy top penthouse <laughs> as they call it um some of the students have a nickname for us since we're like top of the tower in the heavens that calls the God Squad. And I, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, but you, I'm not going to get mad about it. And you guys down here, you know, in this sort of cave, uh, practically, I mean, positively subterranean, uh, Thonic even. Uh, before you even got here, some people are calling you Thonic kids. It is what it is. I wear God's garb with pride. You should wear yours with pride, too. Um, but yeah, let's just get to know each other as people instead of by these labels. Everyone cool with that? Perfectly fine by me. You're awesome. Really kind of having a uh, room at the top of this building? Yeah, you know, normally it's uh, a point of pride, but uh, if the power doesn't come on. We have a long fucking walk <laughs> and he takes a drink to that you can, you can tell he's doing anything to, to delay having to go to the top of this tower um Thanatos is just gonna hold up a cup raise it to him go you know 85% of towers get struck by lightning and lightning storms and typically the residents die immediately Zeus goes amen to that and he'll drink as well okay again uh Let's keep working on the vibes. I'm, I'm not sure we're we're going in the direction that I'm going for here. Uh, uh, Mango raised the glass to Dionysus and just say, to owning it. To but absolutely owning it. Yeah, we'll clink to that. You guys got to catch up, because I'll be honest, I'm I'm ahead of you. And uh, we'll finish his. ECS to goes to your athletic facilities, because you seem to be well taken care of, as far as the. <laughs> yeah, we Yikes. are. Aries says, and he also drinks. But he drinks in a weird way where he's he's can't relax his arm to do it, so it's just like very stiff. It a little bit spills on himself, but he's. 
to life. I'm sorry, go ahead. One of the same. So, Dionysus continues, uh, what better way to get to know each other and break the ice than a good old-fashioned game of truth or dare? Right? Am I right? Tell me I'm right. You're right. I, I, I've, like never, you. I've never played a game like that before. Well, the rules oh, are oh simple. Boy. I like to keep things simple. Um, when it is your turn, someone will say, hey, do so. Truth or dare? And you say truth or you say dare. Wouldn't you know it if you say truth, uh, someone asks you a question and you have to answer truthfully. Got it? If you say dare, you got to do whatever the person dares you to do. No one be an asshole about the dares, you know, but make them exciting. Uh, okay. Cool. You got it? That, 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 that sounds easy enough. Awesome. Um, I th who wants to start? Oh, you could tell that piss. Aries like, fuck, I should have raised my hand. I should have raised my fucking hand. Uh, he goes, okay, uh, you're, you're first up with taking the truth or the dare? Uh, I'll take a truth or dare. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Hmm. Aries stands up. Truth or dare? I'll take a, a dare. Hit me, dude. Hard as you fucking can. Hit me. Oh, this 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 makes me happy. It makes uh, it makes me happy too, man. Come on. <laughs> I hope you hit harder right. than you throw. Hit me. With this fall into my champion's physique. Uh, let's read champion's physique from the Theseus playbook. It says when you roll to shut someone down, you may use physical force or intimidation uh, to use volatile instead of cold. Ooh, is he going to use this as a shut someone down opportunity? Yes, I love mm -hmm. that. Please, please, let's let's, let's make this, this into down. a shut someone down. <laughs> uh, okay. So that would be just rolling volatile, right? Volatile. Mm hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a 13. Um, if that, um, well, first, <laughs> let, 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 let's settle the mechanics before we get narrative. Um, what do you want to happen from the choose one below? Do you want, they don't have a string on you, so you can take a string on them, you can give them a condition, or you can take one forward on your next roll against them. Uh, I'll take a string on him. Okay. So you have a string on Aries. So you step up, you whichever side, I got no preference. I don't have a bad side. Let's go. And uh you just uh fucking haymaker. You do you don't hold back on this. Even though this is like a friendly truth or dare thing, he's asking for it, you give it to him. It looks um, like you could take a punch. Yeah, you 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 find you find that that spot, you find that glass jaw and fucking big old Aries. Lifts off his feet just a second, goes up, and he hits the ground hard, knock the fuck out. Uh, and it is silent for a second as everyone just looks. You good there, champ? You good? Dionysus goes, again, not the vibe I was necessarily going for, but okay. That was fucking, yeah. Dude's strong, right? Dude's strong. <laughs> and he... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, Fill me with up. that, <laughs> oh, he does. He grabs, he starts overflowing your cup. And I think that's an amazing place to take a break. <laughs> you just knocked out the God of War. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, was so badass. That was awesome. Yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, during that time, uh, the music provided for our intro and whatnot is by an amazing group called Ionic, um, some Filipino creators who are super talented. So 
we're going to run their music videos while we do our thing. So relax, check them out if you have some time. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you in a few minutes. Hello, we're back. Our students are playing Truth or Dare. Um, started out uh, with a big old dare that wound up with Aries. Knock the fuck out. So we're going to just pick things up from there. That's a great place to jump in. Um, so that happened. Thesis is getting his cup refilled by Dionysus. Uh, the potential tension that could have happened from like a group versus group fight is instead they're like, you know what? He needed it. Um, they're going to let him sleep that off. Uh, Athena is actually the one who, uh, man handles it, woman handles him and starts just, uh, pu puts him against a couch. He's already sort of coming back a little bit. And, um, you can see as he is, his, his eyes start to flutter open and you see just hatred in it. Um, but he just sort of looks around, he looks at you, Theseus, and he gives you the nod. We all know the nod. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You did it. You got the nod. Um, all right. <clears throat> that was, uh, that was exciting. Um, nobody hit me, but, uh, that's just my rule for the rest of the night. But yeah, uh, who, who, that's, that's, who wants to follow that up? Meg. You want to give it or take it? I'll take it. Hmm. Uh, any of you have a, a true a truth or dare? Dare. Anyone hear of a dare from Meg? I dare you to be very, very, very nice to yourself. Any other dares from Meg? <laughs> uh, Aphrodite, uh, who was sitting next to you, so Aphrodite sort of pats you on the leg. I like that there. Um, but I do have another one, if that's okay. I dare you to give me your phone so I can read a text conversation I find out loud to the group. Uh, I'll... Yeah, I'll hand it over. It's a dare. <sighs> Aphrodite puts her hand out, takes it. Um, you assume you unlock it, then she starts looking through. Meg, what's, a, what's something she, interesting she would find in your phone? <sighs> Probably, like, a bitchy text from Electo. Of just like saying some like nasty shit as she left would be my guess. Okay, uh, Aphrodite starts uh, very sweetly reading this the most vulgar, vitriol, hate-filled text conversation that any of you have heard. Um, she even blushes a little bit at some of it, um, and she just sort of reads it, and uh, she's like, "Yeah," and then it just keeps going on like that. The, who who is this? Um, my sister. Okay. I go to take my phone back. Yeah, she gives it back to you. Yeah, we can't all be the brothers grim over there. Uh, and I put my phone back in my pocket. I don't think your sister was supposed to say half of those words that she said. Are you I don't, I don't think any, anyone should say half, the, half those words that were said. And Dusa, I think I look great in this crop top. Two dares and one. <clears throat> okay. Um, you do. Aphrodite says, I give the dare. Um, I'll go next then. 
Anyone, uh, I'll go with truth. Anyone have a truth for me? Yes, Than. Or is it Thanatos? What do you prefer? Thanatos, my friends call me Than. Are you attempting to shut her down? Yes. Let's do it. Let's roll some dice. Thanatos with an 11 succeeds in shutting down Aphrodite. Uh, which means we've had a lot of shutdowns. <laughs> um, uh, you can get a string on them, give them a condition, or take one forward. I am going to give Aphrodite the condition people pleaser. Mm. Okay. Uh, I like that. Aphrodite. That was the condition. People pleaser. Sometimes I can even spell her name correct. Uh, okay, yeah, she just sort of sours at that a little bit. And you see a few people just do the sip and side eyes. <laughs> it's like, okay, this dude's cold. <clears throat> um, what's your What's your truth for her? What's the reason why you're at this school? The actual reason. She sort of sighs. Looks around. I think I have been selected because I'm very, very good with people. You know, with algorithms, brute force, all these things. We're figuring so many things out, but we're getting further and further from really understanding the human condition, you know? And I'm really, really in touch with my fellow humans. You seem to know a thing or two about touch. I'll give you that. <laughs> I <I'm> not... <laughs> I guess because all right, fan. That means you're uh, you're next. Truth or dare, my guy. Put it on me. I'll let somebody else choose. Hypnos, truth or dare. Choose for me. Give my dear brother a dare. Dare. Hmm. Anyone have a dare? Dionysus will, uh, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll do it, um, just to keep the mood going, um, I dare you to, and he's gonna slide over a, a bottle that says nectar on it, finish that off, help with your mood. How much is in it? Uh, it's, 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 it's a full bottle. Is that really what you want? I'll be honest. I don't know what the fuck I want half the time, but it feels right, so I do it. Drink. All right. You brought this on yourself. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> and he just... Just... Kills starts it. Kill it. <laughs> killing it. Uh, give me a volatile roll. Ooh, I'm good at that. Hope y'all... Somebody plans on taking care of him. This, this <laughs> <young man. laughs> <laughs> does, 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 it, does anybody have a, a bucket? Just, just, just in case. Bucket or bucket? Wow. Do so. The only person here with the forethought to bring a bucket will be you. <laughs> with a seven, partial success. Um. Yeah. You you down it. Um. You already you 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 start feeling it right away. You're you're going to be, uh, well turned, but luckily not. Not you don't need it in a bucket yet. You got you're partially successful here. What did you call that? So that's one of the other things they used to make. That's us called nectar. You can find that uh, a little easier. Not as rare as the good stuff. How you liking it? It's delicious. 
My man. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I guess that means it's me. Uh, who's got something for me? I'm, I'm gonna... The bear. Okay. Okay, my man. There. I dare you. <clears throat> to run all the way up to the top of the tower and then run back down. That's the wrong <laughs> god to ask. <laughs> Ermy's oh, right there, bro. <laughs> you are the funny one in the group. Uh, no, but for real. Please. I reach up you and like... Do a truth. <laughs> uh, go to take the bottle. Like, I'll hold that thing on spell. <laughs> Oh. Yep. All right. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, oh God, I guess I'm a receiver tonight. Yeah. Okay. And he stands up, closes his sort of open top, oh, <laughs> shudders, and then just starts the slow run. <laughs> just the. Uh, you never make the team like that, buddy boy. Oh fuck off! And he starts. He starts heading up the stairs. I top myself off, and then I top Theseus off, and then I top whoever else off. Of them. <laughs> but Theseus, you I, get a I skip okay. over Thanatos. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, Artemis gives you Artemis as the closest thing you've seen to a smile, a little bit of relaxing as she just looks at you, Theseus, and takes a sip as. You make Dionysus do some running. It's probably going to be a while. Uh, All those muscles seem to be for not. They Deuce, call them er, muscles. <laughs> uh, Zeus says, well, uh, uh, Hermes actually kind of leans in. You know, you said you were brothers. I couldn't see the resemblance at first, but now, now that your eyes are all droopy, I see it. Zeus says, all right, I guess I am taking over for our dear Dionysus. Uh, Theseus, we kind of skipped you before on account of good, uh, I don't know. Truth or dare, my man? Truth. Who are you the most attracted to here? Hmm. And you can see Aphrodite sort of straightens up a little bit. <laughs> uh, all eyes are on you. Even, even Ares sort of looks down at himself and is like... Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> right now, this is subject to change. Um... Artemis. Artemis. And you see just a, a slight red go in her cheeks. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> and she just sort of sips. Um, well, well, well. Unexpected. Uh, you keep surprising us, Theseus. I like that. Uh, I guess it's me then. Do my brother. Yes. Well, it's me, Hypnos. You ask me. Are you you come up with the truth for me? And then it'll be your turn next. Uh, oh joy. Um Tell me, Hypnos, what burning question do you have for Zeus? I don't know. Uh, is it man made or steroids? Hit me. What's your deal? Your physique. Hypnos, are you trying to shut down Zeus right Theseus, now? Theseus actually <laughs> gasped at this. He's like... <gasps> <laughs> Ooh, there's a couple rolls that want to happen. Uh, I missed a roll. Theseus, I want you to make a turn someone on roll, actually. Oh, okay. And then uh, Hypnos, I would like you to do a shut someone down roll. Gotcha. What do I roll for turning someone on? Uh, hot. hot. Excellent. Okay. Shut someone down is cold. Okay. 
Hypnos accidentally shutting someone. Well, maybe not accidentally. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> nope. uh, it's a hot, lovely fail. Hypnos failing on the shut someone down. DC is succeeding on turning on Artemis. So, uh, going back, just skipping back just a little bit. Um, you have a string on Artemis now. And they, uh, the reaction was there that she acted embarrassed. She was acting a bit awkward. But uh, you now have a string on Artemis as well. Um, so yes, hypnosis, you say this, and there's that silence again. Um, you hear Ares go, oh shit, and everyone just sort of looks. Zeus stands up, takes a couple steps towards you, takes off his shirt, and just looks down at you. All natural, my man. Boy, take it! <laughs> and, um... Impressive. <laughs> D does Zeus roll to turn on the whole room? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> essentially do, do an equivalent of that. Um... <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. A partial success to turn on Hypnos. So Hypnos. Um <laughs> So you can either give Zeus a string on you or you can give yourself to them, promise something you think Zeus wants. Or get embarrassed and act awkward. Um, I can just red as everything else I'm on. Yes. And just <laughs> That's what I thought. And he uh doesn't even put his shirt back on actually. Then he just settles back in the chair shirtless, uh, reaches out and uh Aphrodite hands him a drink that he then takes. <sighs> Hypnos, you're up. <laughs> Truth or dare? <laughs> Truth. Truth me. Hmm. Anyone have a truth for Hypnos? Uh, if no one does, Hermes will sort of pipe up. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go if no one else is anything. Um, hmm. I got one. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Hypnos. Yeah, buddy. You dream a lot. Uh -huh. uh, how often do you watch porn and dream about that? I thought this was a question for me, not for you. Like, are we, are we like, are you interviewing yourself? I'm confident you in what I watch. There's a lot of sipping going on right now. Meg has put the glass she was holding down, and she's just from the bottle at this point. I guess a couple of times. Who keeps count? Jeez. Uh, Aphrodite chimes in give us something better than that give us uh, top three categories at least yeah you're into the stepmom thing <laughs> i'm gonna go explore the ground <laughs> a little bit um i'm gonna go those are some nice stairs when so. theseus said hey. that he looked straight at <laughs> he looked straight at thanatos <laughs> cup up and passes it to Thanatos as he walks away. Thank you. 
I'm gonna go wander up the stairs. Should, should, uh, should we really go like, check on Dionysus himself? Yeah. <laughs> Thanatos, very, very, very you make it to the stairs. You look up, just a single flight. Dionysus is laying on the stairs. <laughs> 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 He's just laid out. He has a bottle. He goes, oh fuck. Uh, are, are you That's a sport thing, right? Half, half time is a sport thing. Yes, I would. I would say so. Yeah, and he just takes a sip, and he's just <laughs> lounging in the stairs. Uh, yeah, you should be able to sort of squeeze by me. I'm going to... I'm going to squeeze by him. I'm going to step by him. Uh, I would like to, as I'm kind of staring down at him, and I'm kind of taking in a smell and stuff like that, I would like to utilize my move, Death Incarnate, and I'd like to roll and gaze into the abyss to learn his fate. Okay. Uh, for the audience, will you please read the move from the Thanatos playbook, Death Incarnate? Death Incarnate. Whenever you choose to gaze into the abyss to learn someone's fate and roll successfully, they gain the condition doomed. Only two can be doomed at a time. On a seven to nine, choose one. The subject of your vision feels uneasy around you. They gain a string. You experience part of their death. Take one harm. The inevitable grows closer. Let's roll some dark. A full success. Um, what does this look like then? You're, you're looking down at him. Um, and you get to... I... So, 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 so what, what would the audience see when they see Thanatos go into himself and see this person's morbid fate? They would, they would see Thanatos, like, as he's, like, kind of scooting by, and he kind of, like, squats down a little bit to kind of, like, move, like, through a little bit. So he gets kind of close to Dionysus. And I think it's just absentmindedly. He doesn't really, like, notice what's happening but there's a little bit of vapor that goes into his nose that comes off of Dionysus like some pheromones and then a little bit of his hair falls into his cup and he just and he sips absentmindedly doesn't even realize it and then it's almost like a hair or a string of fate almost just kind of oh beautiful and just so he now has the condition doom <laughs> as you take in the smell you take in that um it's a, a sweet that nectar, whatever he's drinking. It's not a lot of the alcohol doesn't smell great coming through someone's pores. This does, and you you smell that sweetness. You that those fumes. You almost see just a haze, and suddenly you're in the the, the, the smoky room. Um, uh, it's, it's it's pillows everywhere. You can hear the soft moaning in the background, and your eyes open as. You're Dionysus for a moment. And you take in, you could you sweet things in your mouth. Um, your skin is just burning with it. It, it, it hurts, but it, it feels good. Um, and then as you sort of pull out from that vision, you now just staring at his eyes, you can see him as he is a huge smile on his face as his eyes roll in the back of his head with pure ecstasy. He lets out this long exhale, and then <coughs> and then uh, you can see something around his neck getting tighter and tighter. Someone is straddling him, but it's hard to see who it is. But they have something around his neck that is getting tighter and tighter. As you can see, sort of the vapors. Um, like you can actually see his breath take physical form as it gets softer and softer and then nothing. And then you sort of come to, and he's just looking up. You are one creepy dude. Um, yeah, really creepy. Um, uh, you're not going to tell your friend that I didn't go all the way to the top, are you? No, no, it's 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 better for you. You're inebriated. Inebriated people have a higher percentage percentage of, of dying, especially when steps are involved. Um, you should spend the night alone tonight. Or no, 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 it's with somebody. Ouch. Sorry, I, not not alone with somebody. Somebody should be there to make sure that nothing happens to you. 
I like that idea. Are you offering? Um, if you would need somebody to stand guard. Oh, Than, I need somebody. Then I, 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 I reckon I could do that for you, yes. I'm going to have him roll to turn you on. <laughs> yeah. This is good stuff. And it works. <clears throat> There's something about this, this, this sensual, even though you just saw, maybe that's part of it too. Uh, There's something about this morbid that, that that's your wheelhouse. Isn't this going from a, that death scene to this? Isn't that much? A, it's be jarring for some people, but not Thanatos. Um, so what's your reaction to this? You could give him a string, give yourself to him, promise something you think he wants, or get embarrassed and act awkward. I need to walk for a little bit, get my bearings, and figure out the layout of this place. But if you would like, you could stay with me instead. My room is much safer. I mean, cozier. And a lot less stairs to get to. I like the way you think, man. Um, yeah, are, are you going to continue going? He's just going to hang out the stairs for a little bit. Are you still going for a walk or? I'm, 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 I'm going to go for a walk, but I, I'll, I'll see you later. Be careful. If you get caught out there, you're in big trouble, man. They won't see me. Ooh, mysterious. They would definitely see me. Good luck. <laughs> and Thanatos is just going to like shudder a little bit and is going to wander off towards the lounge area. Okay. The trophy uh, room as well. Yeah, I heard there's a trophy room. So. Than starts wandering the halls. Uh, we cut back into the common room in the basement as Hypnos just gave us their answer, <laughs> dodging some of the things. Um, and with all that, Zeus just says, all right, that's, that's I, I really don't want to hear more about <clears throat> Hypnosis. I mean, I can open up my rec... My recommended, if you want, if everybody wants to know. I don't. No. I cannot get a read on you. Right. Uh, All right. Uh, you. No, if I uh, like that necessarily. No. Do so. Okay. Okay. I would just talk about it, but. Do so, please. Please uh, save us from this. Truth or dare? Uh, um. Um. I. I. Well. Tr tr uh, I'm. She's gonna look at Meg and uh, d d d dare. I, I, it, yes, there it is. Oh no! Uh, this Hermes sort of pops up. Ooh, I dare you to hmm go to the lounge and steal the employee of the month picture. But, but I mean, this is this is the first day. I I, I can't. I can't that, it's that perfect. Seems... No one will suspect you. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. It'll be fun. Okay. okay. She's gonna leave the room and go do this. Uh, okay, Deuce starts walking out and Hermes goes, wow, she's really doing it. Did not expect that. Uh, is anyone just following? Wait for the crash. Are they just, late? just wait for that. That's what's gonna happen. How far away is this? <laughs> Uh, not too far, actually. It, you wouldn't be able to hear, but um, it's it's oh, not then, like she has to go across the whole. The Theseus right fills this cup up and then like follows at a distance behind so that Dusa doesn't see him, <laughs> but uh, he wants to witness this. Theseus, you totally see Dusa as she's doing this, like do 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 be sneaky, be sneaky, do 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 be sneaky, do 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 do. No one will catch me. Oh, this is wrong. Do 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 do. Very easy to follow her. Um, I'm going to look at Hermes and go, so you sent, I guess as like the least stealthy of us out there to go steal something while we have what I'm guessing is contraband alcohol in here. Now you're kind of making it sound mean. Fuck. I mean, he gets caught, we get caught. Seems like a... Like an adventure. Or poorly thought out. I like doing the unexpected. A lot of people around here are going to tell you what to do. Sometimes it's got to do what you want to do. 
I don't know. Um, I need to rectify something with one of my skin moves. What is that? Uh, I have Pact of Punishment. When you witness someone harm another or shut someone down, take a string on them. When you mm. take, when sending a string to punish them, you may choose two options when pulling strings. So that would be, if I'm remembering correctly, Theseus successfully shut someone down. Mm -hmm. So, and so I have a note that if I pull a string, that string on Theseus, I can use two options. Than Thanatos mm -hmm. successfully shut Aphrodite down. So I've got that one. Um, am I missing anyone else? I say we're good with that for now. You might have, but right. who cares? That I don't think I have. Plenty to work those, with. Those are the only ones, I think. Yeah. No. yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two shutdowns. Right. The successful ones, at least. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that work, yeah, you got. It. <laughs> okay. Fan. Let's so, cut out I... now as we have a couple people wandering the halls. Oh, go ahead. I was like, do I run in to Thanatos as I'm going? Let's find out. Fan, where, where are you going? There's a few options. There was, you, think, you mentioned the lounge. You mentioned the trophy room. I think Thanatos is like trophy. No, that's just go to the lounge. That's 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 more of his style. He's gonna he's gonna wander into the to the lounge because also there's a shop there, right? So yeah, yeah. It's just sort of a, a sort of a, a common area. It's it's where it's not like there there is a cafeteria. There's a banquet hall for the actual like official school lunches. But so this is sort of the thing by the entrance to where like. You could buy like school merch and other sort of random things from the from the outside, as well as sort of like a cafe for people who want to eat things outside of whatever. Um, so yeah, it's sort of a combined for that. Um, yeah, you wander in there. Uh, it's dark at the moment, but uh, it, it, it is cozy. Fits the theme of a lot of the others. This great castle sort of feel. Um, you can see there's like a big bar set up too with like sort of these plush seats for people to sit at. There's tables around. Um, there's a disco ball in the corner, which seems out of place, but you're not sure how that, who approved that. Um, and then there's sort of a section where there's sort of the, the shop area as well. Uh, and right when you walk in on the wall, sure enough, there's sort of the bulletin board where students are allowed to put wherever up as well as just a big uh, employee of the month portrait. Um Right now, I mean, school hasn't even officially started, so you don't believe there would be one. So it's sort of a, a, a tongue-in-cheek thing. There's a picture of three little red puppies. And there's a little oh. S for... Uh, there's Employee of the Month, and someone just put a little S for Employees of the Month. Adorable. Um, Thanatos is, if I'm remembering correctly from the layout of the game, is going to go to a table that is across <laughs> the doorway... That's like kind of in the corner from the employee mm -hmm. of the month. So it's just like Alier, it's kind of sh heavily shadowed. Yes. And he's yes. just kind of like going to sit lurking um, in the shadows, lurking in the shadows, sit with his cup out. And he's going to have his phone out and he's going to see if there, there's probably no signal, but he's just like kind of going through. None at all. Um, so yeah, you go through um, and that's when you can clearly hear Dusa coming. There's no mistaking who who is talking themselves through the sneaking in here. Thanatos closes his phone and just kind of lurks a little bit more, hoping not to be noticed. Okay, okay, almost there. There's the doorway. Do do do. Gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. Don't. No one's gonna notice. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then do so. You. What I just described. You. You walk into that area as well. Uh, I just like not even like around a sneaky around a corner she just like walks in just like no one's here good okay okay i could do this um oh it's so cute uh yeah and theseus you're probably right by in the entrance way behind her uh fan you can you'd be able to see theseus as well um she probably can't see Theseus just kind of creeps up waiting for her to grab it <laughs> <laughs> just quiet just Give me a give me a volatile roll. Okay. Rude. Uh 
uh, partial succeed. Um, so I'm going to say, um, so yeah, at the last second, she's just sort of handshaking, reaching up for this portrait. Um, you just snatch it, uh, scaring the hell out of her. Um, but coming off as a bit of a jerk and, uh, I'm going to say Dusa has a string on you for this, but, uh, you do successfully grab it right before and you, you hear her or how, how would Dusa react? She, she would have like, it's, it's not like a full scream. It's more like, a, it's like a, a squeak. I don't, yes. I don't want to do it. Cause I, I, yes. I like you all. Um, <laughs> she'd be like, oh, I, I, why, I, you're not supposed to work. Why? Why? What? Here, take it. <laughs> That's funny as hell. <laughs> Thank you. You really should have drank more before you started doing this. I think. I I had a cup. Did you need to have more? And he hands Deuce his cup. Oh, oh, okay. And she drinks it. She doesn't know what alcohol is, and this is sweet, and it tastes like candy. So she just chugs the cup. Okay, 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 okay. Now we just go back. Don't drop it and don't get caught. You're very loud. I can repeat the songs that you're singing. <laughs> oh, I thought that was in my head. No. Okay, so, so now we have to sneak back then. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Uh-huh. Sneak it. Okay. That's sneaking back. We're no, sneaking back. not that. <laughs> From your position, you can absolutely hear footsteps coming from the Great Hall towards the lounge. Than uh, is just going to say real quickly, you two should hide. Um, so, what's the plan? You hide, or you can uh, make a runaway roll if you want to get the hell out of here. runs, not hider. <laughs> I would like to run away, but I have a special ability that helps with that. Yes, you do. Let's hear it. I, because I'm Dusa, have the amazing ability called Sudden Escape. I can roll dark to run away. And when I successfully run away, I gain a string on the person I was running from. Excellent. So, uh, volatile for Theseus to run, um, dark for Dusa. Than, I'm going to say it's a dark for you to hide. Let's see what we get. And if we get expelled, episode one. <laughs> I got an 11 to succeed. 13. Ooh. Nine for a partial success. Theseus is quick as fuck, even though he's drunk. Uh, he's so quick, he starts running the wrong way at first because it's a new place and whatnot, and he's in his cups. But he even just quick turns on his heel, would have broke someone's ankles if they were trying to guard him, and he's out. Uh, Dusa, also out. Thanatos, partially out. I think Thanatos hides, but he forgets about the cup that's on the table. Yes, I love that. I love that. Okay. So you're unseen, but uh, right when you find a good spot, you look over, and sure enough is the cup just sitting precariously out on the table. Um, so Dusa, what, what happens on your successful runaway? Uh, I get a on the person? string on the person I'm running from. Okay. Okay. Um, so this is what happens here. The footsteps get louder, and this person uh, is about in. Theseus is gone. He's halfway down the steps already. He just hurdles Dionysus, who <laughs> has not bothered moving. No problem. Um, Dusa, you get just the, the slightest glance. You make eye contact with this person right before you're caught. Um confusing them getting your string on them but it's almost like they're questioning whether you were even ever there because you're gone so completely um and thanos you watch this happen as they they sort of look toward the the, the other door where Dusa went out shake their head for a second and then immediately go to the cup um um you see uh it looks like a student actually um, mixed race, messy, dark hair. Um, even in the low light, you can see two different colored eyes, short guy, athletic build, and uh, sort of this awkward smile as he walks in. Um, he's wearing a red and black hoodie, fitted sweats. Um, 
It's easy to see him, though, because his sneakers, he's wearing the light-up sneakers. The bottoms glow red when he steps. <laughs> and, yeah, he goes in, grabs the cup, and just sort of snits it and sets it down. That, that was weird. Um, and just looks around. Is, is someone here? I mean, I know someone's here, but is someone still here? Am I talking to myself? I'm talking to myself. Now, now. I thought we had all the other students that were down in the basement with us. Um, yeah, they just sort of look, they sort of, they look scared at first, and then immediately get in like a tough guy's stance, just in case something's going to come out of the shadows at him. I kind of step out of the shadows a little bit, look at him go, you're new. I didn't see you with the God Squad. Oh, right. I am new. You're new. I didn't see you with the God Squad. I haven't seen you at no. all. We just you want to be mates. Excuse Friends. me? Friends. Uh, Zag. And he reaches out a hand. Zag. I'm going to reluctantly take his hand. Yeah. Enthusiastically shakes it. All right, a couple of new students then. Um, I ran into an awful mess getting in a bit later than the rest. Do you know where we're supposed to be? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take you with the rest of the group. Excellent. <clears throat> Was there someone else in here? I swore I saw a flash of something on the way in. I'm going to grab the cup and kind of hand it over to him and say, nope, just a little old me. Nobody else to worry about. Okay, excellent. Uh, let me get my things. And he goes, he, he grabs his bag. He grabs a fishing rod that he puts over his shoulder. He's like, all right, lead the way. Let's go, Zach. And uh, eventually the group makes their way uh, back to the, the common room in the basement where the Thonic kids are staying. Um, make hypnos or just uh, the, the game started, uh, I guess the game would s still be going a little bit. Some of the other God squads sort of, uh, daring each other to do things. Um, n nothing that interesting though. You do get, you get a little bit of a feel for them based on this. Um, and most people are just sort of waiting for some sort of disaster because they sent Dusa out to do something bad. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, shortly after, uh, Theseus comes in, uh, Deuce comes in not too far after with the portrait. I got it! Oh my gosh, Hermes stands. That was very impressive and quick. You guys are quick. I like that. And he goes and takes it. Oh, it's the puppies. Uh, Headmaster's kind of intimidating. He's got a soft spot for dogs, though. I, I like the dogs. They look really fun. I like the dogs too. Um, they're really mean though, but they're just puppies. Maybe they'll get nicer. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very good at animals. Are, are there? Do we get to? Do we get to meet the dogs? I don't see why not. I typically do what I want. You should do the same. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not going to dare you to do that though. And um, just like, uh... and uh, yeah, with that, a few moments later, uh, Than and Zag come into the room. Zag just looks, oh, there's a lot of you here. Uh, hello, I'm Zag. I'm staying here. Um, I, is there, a, hopefully there's still a space for me? It seems I like Casey's had a room by yeah. himself. Yeah. Ah. Oh, looks like we're mates, roommates, that is. He goes and Things. reaches uh. his hand out to you, Theseus. This is Zagreus. He's very friendly. I see. And and Theseus gives him one of those crushing handshakes just to see how much he can tolerate sort of thing. Give me a volatile. <laughs> give me a volatile as you attack sweet Zag. How dare you? Leave my sweet boy alone. Yeah, he just sort of looks. His green eye sort of flinches a little bit. 
um, until you see a little bit of a tear well up in it. And I'll let him go. I'm not trying to hurt him for real, for real. I'm yeah, yeah. What he could deal with. Yeah, he 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 held it in a little bit, but you you know that he's this this guy's a chump. And I pat him on the back. Oh, it's like looks like we'll be mates. Looks Roommates. like we will. And he sort of marches off to be your better room. Than that his sneakers that sliding out as he goes. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and he goes and start, starts unpacking Thesis' room, and Zeus just sort of looks around. You know who that is, right? No. No. His name That's is the Mother headmaster's is. son. Motherfucker. Um, excuse oh. me. Oh. I think they were leaving him out because, you know, the nepotism and whatnot, but uh, how embarrassing your own son doesn't get picked by the algorithm, but... It seems he got lumped in with your group here at the last moment. Ha! This is going to be a good year. But also, I want that guy in truth or there. Zag, come on out! And uh, yeah, he's barely even said his stuff. And he comes back. Uh, yes, Zag. We were just in the middle of a game of truth or there. And being as you're the last in, I think it's only appropriate that you're the next to go. So sort it of looks around. Has everyone been playing this? I just got a puppy picture. Yes. Yeah. No roommate of mine is going to skip out on this, so join in the party. All right. Uh, there. Uh, does that mean I get to do it? Yeah, do so. He says, he says, sighing goes, technically, yes, but if it's something disappointing, I will well, step in. Well, also, so they said, I'm, hi, I'm Dusa. Um, they said that you, you were the, 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 the headmaster's son. Do you, do you know about the puppies? Uh, Can yes. I dare I you to take us to the puppies? The headmaster's son, but I, I would like to get you to know you as, uh, as myself. I'm, Please, I don't like to be associated as just the headmaster's son. I'm, I'm much more than that. I have a lot more to offer. What is this about the puppies, though? Um, do you know where they are? Yes, they're with my father. I, I dare you to take us or br I, to, um, 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 I, 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 I dare, I, he, I dare. He points to his fishing rod. You to fish. Well. Oh, mates, I think that's a pretty good dare, don't you? No. <laughs> Bring us the fish. <laughs> like in the ocean? As you say no, yeah, everyone, like, just half the God Squad just nods in solidarity with Theseus. Zeus says, I, 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 I meant it when I said I would fish it. Um, you know what? That could be interesting. Sure. The storm's still going on. Go catch a fish. Is that your dare do so? Well, I mean, if we can't get the puppies, then I guess. Okay, party's over. Yep. All right, that's fine. Um, how about you all go with your new friend then? On a nice fishing excursion. An icebreaker for the, the newbies. I think I've gotten to know. Uh, I've learned what I need to learn about each of you. Is that your command? No, <laughs> oh, no one's giving commands here. I'm just... I am class president, but uh, I don't have the power to command you. So, yeah, yes. Well. Have a good walk up the stairs, Zeus. He looks at you, and as he does, the power comes back on. You hear a thunder strike outside, a flash of lightning, even though there's no windows to even see it. You can feel the reverberation. Huh! You're going to be my good luck, John. Theseus just gives you a look, and he heads towards the elevator. Which is now operable. Yeah. Catch me a big one. And, uh, yeah, with that, the elevator closes, and they start ascending. Uh, um, can I read on Athena? Do what? 
like what's athena been doing this whole time she's the only one who other person who's really talked to me um she started to kind of lose interest she was but she was very like observant she was carefully okay. studying everyone especially the new people um okay. doesn't didn't really seem to be like getting a kick out of the stuff like some of the others you'd smile here or there but mo mostly is they're just learning about each of you um but yeah they go off with the others um and zag looks he goes to hypnos zag shake your hand tired he shakes it <laughs> uh hopefully not too tired for a bit of an excursion you would be surprised <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother hypnos he likes his naps. Oh, interesting. I, uh... It is true. I, I, I made his son, but I... I know my way around the island pretty well, actually. Um, if I'm allowed to hang out with you guys, I can show you a thing or two. I mean... No that would be really nice. As, as long as you don't mind. No, I, I would love it. I, this is a really cool spot. Uh, a cove in the mountain that we can, uh... Cut something, and we won't even really get rained on. Actually, I know a way through. It'll be like an adventure. We're going on an adventure. Yes, let's do it. Um, is everyone in? Yeah. And won't they look dumb, acting like this is some big bad dare, and we come in with a huge fish? They'd really look dumb if they all got trapped in an elevator, knowing if you have more than four people in an elevator, it has a higher chance of getting stuck. Are you still drunk? <laughs> I what? think he's just being optimistic. <sighs> Does anyone have ponchos? Wait till my leather jacket. You just said we weren't going to get wet. Uh, we'll be a little wet, but mostly not. Mostly I, have a, I, I, ha I have umbrellas. Zagreus, uh, oh, Zagreus, just wait. Just. And then uh, Theseus comes out of the room with a bunch of like uh, ponchos for like being on the golf course in the rain. It's like, here, 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 here. How, do, how are you unprepared for weather? I'm prepared oh, this is for nice. weather. All right. Uh, do you all have rods? Or is it going to be up to me? I think got this. Theseus looks at his fishing rod and he's like, no, not doing it. Nope. Wasn't my dare. I, I don't right. have one. This is my dare and I will do my best. I'm going to catch a sturgeon just for you all. Um, let's go. So you start to head out. Uh, the, or Dionysus walks down. Did I just hear the elevator? God We're going on an adventure. Damn it. No, I'm not doing any of that. I... He goes and he starts hitting the button. Oh, I've had my adventure. All the way to the top and back down again. Yes, sure, all the way. sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's true. Didn't even break a sweat. He did take a nap halfway down, but you know. Yeah, it's neither here or there. Uh, you guys should get going. Um. And then, yeah, Zag will, will lead you out if you all will follow. Uh, Thanatos will take one last glance at Dionysus as he's waiting for the elevator. Just shake his head. He nods his head. <laughs> 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 and you're off. Um, head through out of the east wing. Um, hit the gardens. Beautiful sort of dark gardens that... Uh, uh, Zag seems to know his way around. So he sort of cuts through. You're in your 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 golfer ponchos. Get wet a little bit again, but luckily you don't have to be out too far before. Uh, like I said, the 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 school itself is in the base of this steep mountain, and you find yourself uh, heading into a, a cave. Uh, it seems a well traveled cave, not not like some random whatever. It, it seems like it's probably regularly used. He goes right. Uh, there's a few places you can get to from here. There's a, a good fishing spot. Um, there's some hot springs. Um, there's also a place... I just call it the brooding cliff. Sometimes I'm feeling sad, I look out and watch the sunset. Here's that fan 
a brooding crib. That, that's, that's why that's, he does everything. I was that sure everyone for you. just looks at Dan <laughs> at the same time. I was just like. <laughs> Do you have a brooding cliff where you come from? I am. Um, I no, I don't have a brooding cliff. I just kind of just brood. Whatever. I don't know why this is important. To You're welcome to brood on. with me anytime, mate. Oh my god! Best spot <laughs> in the whole island. Sure, of course. Yeah, letters. If that's I used to use it a lot, thing. but I don't see myself needing it as much in the future. So tell me about your lot. What's your story, as they say? Well, we all we all got here this morning. We came from the boat, and we, we're all new students this year. Oh, excellent! Just like well, I mean, yeah, I, I'm new as well, but obviously, I I, I live on the island. Uh, did you have any questions about the place? Maybe I can give you the inside scoop. How many people have died here? Oh, that got out. I think that, that what? Hang on, everybody. I think that's just Thanatos' thing, but now you've opened a can of worms that we have to unpack. Worms! We do need worms. And he goes, nope. I'll be right out the cave. I'll dig I for them. Grab, hang on. I grab his <laughs> arm as he goes. Uh huh. You're to strong. Stop I am strong. Uh, what? What did what? you say? What? what did you say? He's going to roll to turn you on. Accidentally. I was going to roll to turn him! <laughs> Do it, you do it, you do it. <laughs> um, because I'm going to use... Oh, God. I am going to... I feel like now I should just succeed. Uh, pain is pleasure. When rolling to turn someone on, uh, you may roll with volatile of doing so physically and roughly. So I'm going to try to grab him. Let's see it. Partial success. Partial success. Um, with a partial success. Mm. So, uh, very roughly, you grab the short little man. And just easily pull him towards you like nothing. And that awakens something in him. <laughs> just chest to chest. Uh, yeah, he just is, looks up at you um, as you're just like face to face. And you see his eyes sort of flutter and his lips purse out a little bit. Oh, is he giving himself to me? He thinks so. He's not sure. What are you doing? Um, I, Meg would just be like, who died here? What got out? Like, she would kind of blow past it, trying to get something out of him, but still holding him just as tight. Oh, um, right. That's what we were talking about. I should get those worms, though. Um, I forgot I have some on me. He packs his pocket. Right, going, uh, a, a student, uh, someone who used to be in the God Squad, uh, died do, do at the end of last year. Do you just have worms in your pocket? No, they're in a container of course <laughs> don't but be silly mate student died. what happened freak accident as far as i can concerned. they don't tell me everything i don't actually work here my father hmm I'm trying to remember the last time i had a meaningful conversation with him All right, anyway the bottle when he <laughs> 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 are you gifting this to me Um, I just, you can have a, it seemed like you might have needed a drink. And I've probably had more than my fair share. Thank you. This makes me, uh, this makes me happy. This is a good way to make friends, I suppose. He takes a drink. <laughs> takes a sip. All right, onward. Any more questions? And he starts heading back into the cave. Why did you just have worms in your pocket? For fishing, is, is that just course. a... Now, with my usual baits, you can get trout and whatnot, but if you want a good sturgeon, you need the best worms. What, what kind of bait do you normally use? Trinkets and whatnot. What do you keep in your pockets? 
Tusa just starts pulling out like a handkerchief, tissues, uh, hand sanitizer. She's just like everything. This is sort of a fun game. Yeah, Phantos, what about you? Nail polish, a lighter, clove cigarettes, a switchblade. (laughs) They let you into, huh? It's the comb. (laughs) Hypnos? Got nothing. No pockets and all of that. No. Interesting. Theseus. It's like cell phone, uh, edibles, wallet, keys. <laughs> Snacks. Good to have. Yes, absolutely. You should always keep good snacks. Uh, not making contact, making eye contact, and goes Meg. Um, she pulls out like a phone. Uh like lo- kind of like loose change and maybe like a cig- like a half smoke pack of cigarettes or something. Those are so bad for your lungs. Oh, wow, I've never heard that before. I bet they are. Can I have one? She offers it. Father would hate this. And he lights one up. <laughs> <sighs> Can I have some of your snacks? I actually <laughs> skipped dinner, Theseus. You know what? Yes, you can have some of my snacks. Thank you. Takes a handful, tosses them in his mouth. Just. You have gummy bears? I love gummies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would it's you actually, like some uh... too, Dusa? Oh, oh, okay. Dusa will eat the candy. <laughs> You know, if you there's a there's a town well, not really a full town proper, but there's a few people who lives in the silent first, and they still run some businesses. Uh, one place called Lucky Tooth. It's got the best sweets. If you ever need to restock on your gummies. Not sure they have exactly what I'm looking for, but I well, appreciate got all sorts your... of things. These have a weird aftertaste. Yeah, no offense, but you might have had these in your pocket a bit too long. Oh, they're, they are flavored exactly as they should be. Oh. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe you won't like this lucky tooth, then. Uh, what else is there in town? Town I know about. The other students usually don't get to go to town. Uh, this is the well, which is sort of the general store, the shop. Uh, one guy sort of runs everything around there. He's the ferryman. He's the mayor. Uh, Charon, you probably met him. He took you in. Well, he doesn't say much. No, no, he doesn't. He's, uh... Well, father told me he smoked too much when he was young, and I was hard to understand. See? Oh, Oh, look at me. Look at me now, and he puffs his cigarette, coughing a little bit. (laughs) You look really cool. Then, of course, I know you have, like, world-class... There's a head chef here and whatnot, but if you want really good food, you're gonna want to go to Falafel House. Eurydice runs that by the shore. Falafel house? Yes. Uh, it was a house, and now they make falafels in it. Oh. You can't beat it, mate. You really can't. I see. All right. Mm-hmm. Onward. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, he starts heading in. Um, you can see the gummy starting to hit him. As he's... he's he starts getting turned around. The further you go in the cave system, the more complicated it gets. And he gets, he's very sure about where he's going, but not, you guys aren't the most sure he knows where he's going. But it's, it's, it goes deeper and deeper in. You have to get your phone lights out. You can see his shoes lighting up as he goes. Um, <laughs> the light of shoes, I can't. Uh, I 100% believe he is going the right way the entire time. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's just telling you about himself and he, he's generally interested in getting to know each each one of you as well, asking you questions as you go. Um, you're going in for a while, though, like a while, while, but it's not that unpleasant to where you, you, the time passes without you really noticing uh, until eventually um, you can hear the outside again. Uh, you can hear wind howling, but not necessarily a storm. So he leads you out to a cave opening. He goes, oh, I must have taken a wrong turn. Well, mate, and he pats you on the, the arm then. It's your lucky day. I've accidentally led us to the brooding cliff. And he sort of goes out, and you can see it, it is a beautiful just sort of outcropping that opens up from 
you seem like you're a decent way up the mountain a little bit. Um, and you just see just this vast ocean. Uh, and it's late enough to where you could just see a little bit of the sun starting to come up way on the horizon. Uh, and yeah. This is the prettiest place I've ever seen. Yes, it is. Makes me sad. <sighs> he just gets quiet and looks out. This is for people who cry. <laughs> Don't cry. It's good to cry. If you keep in your tears for too long, then your tear ducts can actually rupture. Everyone cries. Is it? Sometimes. It's true. It's, oh, no reception. I can't Google it. <laughs> Shit. Come, everyone, have a seat. Deuce is already sitting on the ground next to him. At a certain point, Meg. He has... just sort of leans his head under your shoulder, Dusa. Yeah, as, I, I do the same. We're high as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And also, you're probably the first person of a height where he could kind of do that to. So it's it's nice for him. Short squad. We get it. Um, At a certain point, Meg weaseled the bottle away from him while he was, like, getting turned around. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm pretty sure the rest of the group has probably passed it around and drank it, and she just sticks it back. Okay. You stick it back with him? Yeah. <laughs> it's empty now, but he doesn't know that he didn't drink it. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, Thanatos is going to go to the edge of the cliff and kind of like look down and kind of survey the rocks and everything like that and just kind of get like a general like lay of everything since it's brooding cliff he's going to go brood but also trying to get like a how everything looks from this angle perfect Theseus goes to the edge of the cliff and then immediately looks down and then turns right back around goes back into the cliff it's like it's a nice view from here <laughs> Are you no Theseus? um no, he's gonna not scared <laughs> Hypnos is going to scuttle up next to um, to Than and kind of just look down, like crane this neck out, like kind of tip, tippy toes over and like leans right back. So, skewered, you explode. What happens when you go down there? He just looks up at him. So, depends on the state of your body, but you might have a heart attack before you actually hit. Sometimes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, your mm -hmm. brain shuts down, mm -hmm, kind of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. into shock. Mm -hmm, but most mm -hmm. of it will happen is depending on whether you hit the rocks or the water first. Uh, your bones will turn to dust. Your mm -hmm, internal mm -hmm, organs mm -hmm. will rupture. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you will more than likely die on impact. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you don't and you go legs first, then you're more than likely going to drown. Mm -hmm. Can the high people hear this? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's no longer raining. It's just a little bit of wind <laughs> and then Fan's creepy voice I don't, taken I don't, by the wind. I don't want my bones to turn to dust. A few steps back, further back. <laughs> uh, Listening to all of this. Nah, nope. Uh -uh. Zagreus suddenly stands up. Fan, mate, I, I, I appreciate your commitment to the brooding cliff. I really do. But enough of all that. Let's make a pact right here uh, that for this school year, me and each one of you we're all mates from here on out. Agreed? Mates from here on out. Only if you commit to going to the gym with me. You can't have these little noodle arms and be a Deal. part of my crew. Tusa looks at her noodle arms. <laughs> and toast looks at Hypnos. It's like a Like a, yeah, it's like a non-committal shrug. <laughs> Signature move, non-committal shrug. While they have their sibling thing, Michael put her hand in. Whatever they're doing. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, he's definitely been putting his hands in. Yeah. yeah, I'll put, I'll put a hand in. Thanatos will do the Orange Cassidy if you watch wrestling. The Orange Cassidy just hold the hand out. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, mates on three one, two, three, mates, mates. mates. and when he puts mates. his hand up in his fucked up state, 
slips backwards and off the cliff. Can I grab? <gasps> grab. I grab. grab. By the time you guys sort of reach out, he was very enthusiastic. He threw himself back. You look over and you see his last thing you see is his light up shoes blink as they go and splatter on the rocks below. Just as over the ocean, (laughs) the sun is starting to rise and those first beams of light start to illuminate the mountain. And Hades High School, as we conclude our first session of this wonderful game. So, that's my game. Oh no! (laughs) Oh, I've been looking forward to this game for a long time and these wonderful people this is I, i'm so excited for this already Damn. this is this is great um yeah Bruh. we met zag you killed zag uh with there's Deuce's still a dare. chance this is deuce's fault um <laughs> I just with that, to see the puppies. we'll be doing this every week for a little bit um <laughs> joining me and the rest of the people we're gonna go around uh please tell the people who you are what you're up to where they can find you um we're going to start with Vin. Well, hello again, guys. I'm Vin Vox at Vin Vox VA on Twitter. I have a couple of things to announce, but that'll come closer to the date. Um... <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Wes. Hi, I'm Wes. Wes Franks from Caring Comfort Studios, a Twitch stream on here that deals with tabletop and all that other sort of stuff, video games and everything like that. Um, uh, every week on uh, Tuesday before this, we have a comfort sickle stream where one of our members of our team, Leslie, uh, makes popsicles and then plays video games on stream. How many popsicles? So go ahead and check that out if you need something a little bit more positive. Um, we currently have a, a show that's ending uh, it, using the heart, uh, the City Beneath system called Descend to Drum Beats. That's wrapping up. And then we will be starting a cyberpunk red campaign called Displaced and Disorderly right after that. So stay tuned for that. And we have a lot of other shows coming up too, including Down Deep, which is a queer Southern Gothic horror show, uh, as well as a D&D game coming up this winter. There's a lot of fun stuff happening over. So you can just hit Carrying Comfort Studios on Twitch, follow me on Twitter at Brother X West, head up our Discord. If you just look it up, you can find it. All the links are on Twitter, figure it out. Speaking of figuring it out, Rachel. Hey, I'm Rachel, Miss Petty Dreadful. On, oh, get it together. Um, <laughs> Miss Petty Dreadful on Twitter and Instagram. Um, you can find me playing games over on the Table Got uh, YouTube and Twitch channels. Uh, we just finished recording and are currently releasing our Cults of the Blood God run, which is incredibly chaotic. And my chinchilla wants to plug something too. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but, uh, yeah, please go check it out. It's, uh, the most chaotic time and a blast. Uh, next we have April. Hi everyone. I'm April. You can find me all over the net, internet as April Raygun. I am one of the brain cells at Slady's ATL. We're currently on break, but we'll be back this fall with more amazing content for, uh, that's focused on marginalized gamers and players. Uh, we've just partnered with Chaotic Tiefling, so we have so many really cool things coming out. So make sure to follow Slady's ATL or me. And oh my God, he killed Zach. <laughs> I'm not taking credit for that. I don't want to take uh, L for it either. So this is already. I running. just wanted a puppy. Oh, oh. Speaking <laughs> of Prince. Hey everybody, I'm Prince, aka Doubles and Dice around the internet. Uh, so you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. Uh, I stream tabletop RPG games, variety streams. Uh, you can also catch me over at my sister station, Roland D's 20s, where I play Cyberpunk Red on Wednesday nights as a part of a trauma team where I am a very, very bad trauma team member. I'm a rocker boy that probably shouldn't be anywhere near people's health. Uh, <laughs> but this Wednesday, you can catch me over on uh, <laughs> the Overlord's channel, uh, torturing bully and friends. <laughs> as Prince Jackson and their uh, uh, Chicago by Night Chronicle. Uh, then on Saturdays on Rolling D's 20s at 9 p.m. Eastern time, you can catch me as a storyteller for Vampire the Masquerade, Philly by Night, where um, I maybe have just hit one of my players with a submerged directive that they will have to kill one of their friends once they find out about it. Yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. So come watch us. 
follow Rolling These Twenties. Follow me on Twitter, and uh, you'll see what we're up to. And I am Bully. Uh, I run things over here at Table Goth. Uh, go to our YouTube for vampire tutorials and our games over there. If you want to see me as a player, Wednesdays, I'm over at the Uwu Overlord playing a uh, cowboy Banu Hakim. Thursdays, I'm over at Table of Horrors playing a Victorian game where I'm playing a, a, a Zamichi who thought he was a venture. Good times all around. Um, and then, of course, I hope to see you all next Tuesday. And I'll be right back here with this lovely group playing some long-awaited for me, Hades High School. Um, that is it for us. Thank you for being here. See you all later. Bye.